My favorite search engine, Perplexity, just added DeepSeek R1 reasoning model into its search engine. Let me show you right over here. If you turn on this pro option right over here, you'll see a brand new option, reasoning with R1. And this is the new DeepSeek model, but hosted in the US. So instead of using it on the DeepSeek website, you could use it right inside of Perplexity. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to use it right now. And I have 10 different prompts, so you could see all kinds of different use cases in this video. Now, Perplexity Pro, it is a paid upgrade. So I think you only get three free ones per day, so you can test it completely for free. And then obviously you're gonna run out and you'll have to upgrade. It's $20 a month, but I use Perplexity for all my searches anyway. And I think this Pro upgrade is really well worth it. You could attach files to it. And if I click this drop down, you'll also see reasoning with O1, this is OpenAI's reasoning model, is also available here. So that's really cool. Now I wanna make a decision here if Nvidia stock is a good buy right now. This is not obviously financial advice, but this is gonna help me go through that search much better. Let me just send this out to show you how this all works now. So it's going through the reasoning and it's walking you through exactly what it's going to do. This is kind of its thinking process. Let's tackle the question, the Nvidia stock a good buy right now. First, look at the recent price. Then it's comparing the bullish versus the bearish perspective, looking at the predictions in 2025. It's pulling up videos over here. So it went through 22 sources using the regular search of perplexity or the pro search. And now it has that reasoning built into it. On top of that, has all these sources pulling up the charts. And here, let me just kind of show you. Here's the bullish perspective, strong fundamentals, growth catalyst. Here's the bearish risk, competitive pressures, deep seek R1 model, right? Something that literally came out within the last week and it has that in its research and it ran it through the deep thinking. The valuation concern here and then the verdict. NVIDIA remains a high risk, high reward play. Long term investors might see the dip as a entry point given AI leadership and growth catalyst. Short term traders should brace for volatility with technical indicators suggesting possible further downside. Now, one of my favorite parts with perplexity is the fact that it gives you related prompts here and then you could dive deeper. What are some potential long term impacts of DeepSeek on NVIDIA? market share great timely prompt right and again as long as i have that pro search with r1 turned on it's going to go through that this time it's finding me looks like 23 sources analyzing nvidia strategy to counteract competition from deep seek and let me just kind of scroll down to the bottom but obviously these are all useful information while these potential impacts are significant it's important to note that nvidia still maintains a strong position in the ai chip market the company established ecosystem continuing innovation strategy investment in ai startups position to adapt to the changing market dynamic okay let's go through some other prompts this one is going to be related to how it analyzes trends and reasons through it and to some extent, Perplexity is going to do a decent job because it is a really strong search engine, even if you don't have Pro turn on with R1. So I'll show you a quick difference here if you want to see the difference. I'm going to search for the current inflation rates, US, UK and Canada. And based on these trends, suggest which currency might strengthen the most by the end of the year and why. Right. So there's a lot of different things this has to do analyze different trends, make predictions. So the reasoning is definitely going to do a better job than just a regular search. But if you do a regular search, it's going to give you an answer pretty quickly here. And here's a little bit of information. It gave us a list of things. And the conclusion here is that the US dollar might strengthen the most by the end of the year. OK, this is what I'm going to do now. Right here, rewrite. I'm going to click on it and I'm going to ask it for the same thing. But instead of using that pro search option, now I'm going to use reasoning with R1. And you could always use Claude 3.5 Sonnet. A lot of times I actually like to rewrite things using Claude 3.5 Sonnet when I'm using Perplexity. It just kind of gives you a better tone, I think, than the default Pro Search or ChatGPT 4.0, which is another option. But let's do the R1 right here, and it's going to rewrite it. So it's going to go through the same prompt, but you could see a totally different type of a thinking process as it's going through this prompt here. And let me just let this finish up through its reasoning and I'll show you what the answer looks like. And by the way, this is working a lot better and faster. The DeepSeek website right now is just having all kinds of issues and there's privacy concerns and things like that with using it. So I like that this is hosted by perplexity in the US. So it says current inflation rate and currency outlook, US inflation rate 2.9% in December. Okay, let's see what the conclusion is. 
The conclusion is the U.S. dollar is expected to strengthen the most by the end of the year due to the rising inflation. But it really broke it down in a much cleaner way. It gave you more data points here. The other one was just kind of a numbered list. And the conclusion wasn't on the bottom. It was like kind of up here somewhere. I mean, the way this speeds up research is just fantastic. OK, the next one I want to show you is for decision making, because a lot of times you want to combine the power of search with the power of AI reasoning, which, by the way, you can't do inside of ChatGPT right now. Now, inside of ChatGPT, if you choose the O1 model here and ask for a prompt right here, if I paste that prompt, you could see search is not available. I cannot combine the two. Even in my $200 plan, let me switch to that. This version of ChatGPT right here that has O1, O1 Mini, O1 Pro, this is a $200 only version of this reasoning model but I don't have search available. So the fact that with perplexity, I could use O1, I could use R1, and I could use search, obviously it's gonna be one of the most useful things as far as any AI tool goes. Okay, so decision-making, search for the latest job trends in software engineering, then based on the demands and the average salaries, recommend the best tech specialization for someone starting their career in 2025. So a lot of different things here that this has to go through okay this is going to go through first the pro search and by the way if you're not familiar with the pro search inside of perplexity if you just use the free one and don't have pro search it still does a good job but it typically goes through less sources usually the pro search goes to three times more sources to give you an answer now with the reasoning model and look at all these different steps that he came up with so this is kind of like a search agent here all these different things that it's trying to answer before it gives you an answer. Okay, and let's see what recommendation we're gonna get. Okay, AI and machine learning engineer is the top recommendation. <laughs> Pretty obvious there. Average salaries exceed 200K with significant growth potential. Gain practical skills, focus on Python, stay up to date with learning and adapting new technologies, especially when it comes to AI, cloud, and cybersecurity. You could always click these three dots here, by the way, and view the sources just over here. So these are all the different sources that it pulled the information from, just so you could verify them very quickly by clicking them on this side here. Okay, here is a creative problem solving issue. Search for recent laws affecting freelancers in California and suggest how a freelancer earning 100K a year should structure their taxes. Okay, so it went through a couple of the new laws. It gave me exactly what they are. Then he gave me the tax strategies here. So a couple of different things. S-Corp election, making an S-Corp to save on self-employment taxes, it looks like. Making quarterly estimated payment here. Setting up a SEP or solo 401k account. Structuring an entity, forming an LLC. Compliance checklist. I mean, this is just fantastic here. And he went through so many different sources. Let me see our list of sources. 25 different sources. The reasoning, the step-by-step -step reasoning that I'll show you on top over here. Here's kind of all the different reasoning that the R1 triggered over here. And he went through all of that over here. And then you could see like each one, just the amount of search that he did in such a short time is kind of incredible. And the reasoning on top of it all. And this time, let's see how it deals with an ethical question here. Search for pros and cons of AI in healthcare, then propose ethical guidelines for hospitals adopting diagnostic AI tools. Okay, 19 different sources, reasoning with R1, went through these steps here, and let's see what we got. And he broke it up to benefits of AI in healthcare. He gave us five points for that. Risk and challenges of AI in healthcare. Some ethical dilemmas, privacy concerns, clinical risks, implementation barriers, ethical guidelines in hospitals adopting AI transparency. Now this is super comprehensive and very well organized by balancing innovations with safeguards, healthcare system can harness AI's potential while upholding patient safety. So that's kind of the takeaway that it got at the end. In the description below this video, I'll include some of these prompts so you get some ideation here for the different things that you're using search and DeepSeek R1 for. I think you're gonna find it really valuable. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one.